Okay, so special trig limits part one. We're going to start with this idea, and I'm just going to give you this. This is going to be a gift to you, uh, something that you should know, and that is that the limit of sine x over x as x goes as x approaches zero is equal to one. So given that, find the limit of one minus cosine x over x as x goes to zero. So here's some stuff that we're going to have to take. And you're going to get really, really good at this. You're going to have to stay with me. One is that you're going to have to be able to remember some of your algebra stuff. And two is that you're going to have to really remember that stuff that we went over on page three, uh, 376 of Swakowski Cole on um, trig, trig identities. So the first thing I'm going to do here is this. What I'd like to do, because I know this information here, is this. I'm going to multiply this by the conjugate of this, which is 1 plus cosine x over 1 plus cosine x. Now we look at this as x goes to 0. We have to be careful. We're, we're allowed to multiply by 1, any one that we want to use. We can't multiply by 0 over 0, though. Um, as x goes to 0, cosine of x does not go to negative 1. So that, that works out OK. So we're going to just multiply these things really quickly. And then what we're going to get is this. We're just going to do a little FOIL here. Remember that? And if you remember, this is difference of squares, right? So what we're going to get is we're going to get the limit as x approaches 0 of 1, right, well, actually 1 squared, plus cosine squared x all over x times, oops, sorry, times cosine, oops, sorry again, 1 plus cosine x, right? So where am I getting that? I'm multiplying this times this using FOIL. We have difference of squares here, right? So this should be a negative, shouldn't it? Good job, whoever just caught that. And this simplifies out to just this, doesn't it? Okay. So now what I'm asking you to remember is your trig identity. So here, this is a trig identity, isn't it? This is a trig ID. And if you're going, Charlie, I don't know you're talking about, please go back to your trig identities because there's no way you're getting through this without knowing it. And we can trade in this piece here. We know that this is a Pythagorean identity and that we can substitute in 1 minus cosine squared x is the same as sine squared x, right? This piece is replaced exactly by this piece. There are equivalents here, right? And then we get here x 1 plus cosine x was our next step, yeah? Right? So that yields out this, doesn't it? Okay, let's see if we can move on with this a little bit. All right, so all we're going to do now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to break this out. Sine squared x is the same as sine of x, si sorry, sine x times sine x, isn't it? It's why I'm showing you that th this way is because this times this is this, isn't it? But look what I'm going to get here. See this x, let me look at this for a second. See this x right here? I'm going to partition this piece out right here. here this x is this one. And then I'm going to take this piece right here. And I'm going to put it under here, 1 plus cosine x. Is that all right? All right. Oh, right, and then we're going to have limit here. Limit as x goes to 0. Please remember that the limit of a product is the same as the product of the limits. So we can just do it this way, right? So we can evaluate this now, right? We can evaluate this. So we're going to evaluate this. So we know we started out with this as a given, right? So this is equal to 1, isn't it? This multiplication sign right here, you guys, is this one. And then what is sine of x as x goes to 0? What's sine of 0? How do you know that? Remember, this is the, this is the unit circle. And sine of 0 is 0. Is 0. Oops. Ready? Is 0. This one right here is this one. And what's cosine of 0? Well, here's 0. This is the point 1, 0. So cosine of 0 is 1. So 1 plus 1. It's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? But And then we have 1 times 0, which happens to be 0 as our answer. All right? So a little bit of algebra. Got to have uh, memorize those trick identities. And just kind of be looking for stuff. As we do more and more of these, you're going to get better and better at them, I promise. So hang in there. Good work.